Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark and Duels, and today I'm going to be doing a Fabled Deck Profiles. I really love this deck because it has some of the best artwork in the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's a really cool old-school synchro deck from Hidden Arsenal, which is always an amazing throwback for you guys. So, without further ado guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and you can come part of the notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below, because we have some awesome rewards for you guys, like getting your name in the description for every single video, getting a signed card sent to the mail, or even getting a request to deck profile just like this one every single month that you are a patron. So, without further ado, guys, let's get straight on into this. So, first off, we're going to be playing three copies of Fabled Grimro, which is my favorite of all the Fabled monsters. And she's a really good card. If you control a face up Fabled monster, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard to add a Fabled monster from your deck to your hand. Really good effect to be able to get you a search. It is a one for one, it's not a minus one, it's just a one for one effect, which is still pretty good to be able to fish out exactly what you need out of your deck. We then play three copies of Fabled Ganish. Fabled Ganish is a really good tuner monster, a really good monster to get uh, for synchro summoning on your side of the field because when this card is discarded to the graveyard, you get a special summon it. And if this card is special summoned this way, it gains tuner attack for each removed from, uh, for the gains tuner attack and is removed from play when it's removed from the field, which is pretty good to be able to gain that extra 18 or go to 1800, but it's removed from the uh, play when it's, you know, sent to the graveyard. Totally fine, not that big of a deal. I play uh, one copy of the fabled uh, Koshino. Uh, Koshino is really good because if this card, you can discard this card, um, you can discard one fable monster to the graveyard, except another copy of itself to add this card from your graveyard to your hand, which is really good just to be able to loop your cards that are in the graveyard because they're going to get effects off when they get discarded usually. So this card's really good as a one-up. We play three copies of Fabled Raven. So Fabled Raven is really, really good. And yes, I do have those secret rivers in this card because I love this deck. Uh, Fabled Raven is a really good card and probably one of the best cards in the entire archetype because it's been teched into other decks like Dark Worlds and stuff like that. But once per turn, you can discard any number of cards from your hand and increases cards level by the number of discarded cards into the end phase of the turn and it gains 400 attack for each card discarded as well which is really good just to boost its attack points up and even get its level up to match what you need to synchro summon your monsters usually what you're trying to get out is fabled uh reagan which or Ragen, which is really good to be able to get out on your field or and it's just really good to use the uh fabled raven to go into that card really quickly so then i play three copies of the Fabled Lizard, um, I just call this one Fabled Danger Noodle, but basically what this card does is super cute, I love this card, um, what it does is Nozuchi, when it's, during your main phase, you can discard a Fabled Monster and special summon this card from your hand, and then when this card is special summoned this way, you can special summon a level 2 or lower Fabled Monster from your hand as well, to follow it out onto the field to use as a Synchro Material, which would be something as simple as summoning out your Fabled Raven, and then discarding another card to be able to resolve its effect, and then special summon a monster from your graveyard that triggered off its effect. So speaking of tri triggering discard effects, we also play three copies of Cerebus. Uh, Cerebus is really good because um, what it does is when this card is discarded to the graveyard, you special summon it, which is really, really, really good. Um, Cerberal is really good because when you discard, like if you use the effect of like Fabled Raven or Fabled uh, Nozuchi, then you instantly get special on this card to your side of the field, and it's a tuner monster, which is going to help you out with some of your synchro plays. I play two copies of Chris. Uh, Chris is really good because when this card is discarded, you can select a fabled or level four or lower fabled monster in your graveyard and special summon it. So she can help you loop your fables out of the graveyard and just get additional plays off. Um, three copies of Fable Lorel. Um, this is really cool because when this card is discarded to the graveyard, you just instantly special summon it. Um, it's just so good just to loop it with getting your monsters out on the field just by discarding them. We then play two cop or three copies of Chawa. Chawa is really good too because during your main phase you can discard a Fable monster and special summon this from your hands. Basically Nozuchi but level one. And then I play a tech card that I played in the last tech profile when I did this, and that's Kassith. Uh Kassith is really good because. When it's discarded the graveyard, you target a card on the field and destroy it. So it just gives you instant spot removal, which is really, really nice. So basically, you're using all these monsters to synchro summon into uh, Ragen, or Ragen um, to get it out on the field to be able to just go into your shooting uh, Quasar Dragon or shooting uh, Blazar Dragon as quickly as possible. So that's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get into the spells. So for the spells, we're going to be playing a single copy of Monster Reborn, uh, because Monster Reborn is just super good in this deck to be able to extend, excuse me, I mean three copies of Monster Reborn with Ayers Rock Island. Ayers Rock Island, uh, or Ayers Rock Sunrise, lets you target a beast monster in your graveyard and special summon that monster, um, which is really good because the majority of your stuff is beasts anyways. 
uh, to be able to just special summon to your side of the field. That's really, really helpful. Some of them are fiends and some of them are beasts, so that's something you kind of got to watch out for. But this card is really good just to get your monsters out of, from the graveyard to just get you extensions to your plays. One copy of Card Destruction. Card Destruction is super helpful in here because Card Destruction just lets you discard your entire hand, and some of your cards really benefit off of discarding to the graveyard. So Card Destruction comes in really handy with cards like your copies of Cath Sith, your copies of um, Cerberil, your copies of of like all sorts of stuff. Ganesh, with it being in the graveyard, it was discarded the graveyard, you just instantly special summon it. So it can really get you like a bunch of pluses off the copy of um, the card destruction. Two copies of Monster Reincarnation. Reincarnation is neat in this deck, okay? Monster Reincarnation lets you discard a card and then target a monster in the graveyard and add it back to your hand. But it can pretty much say discard a monster, special summon what you discarded, and then add a monster from your graveyard to your hand. So a really easy combo with this would be to have a copy of Nozuchi in the graveyard and have a copy of Cerberil in your hand. So you discard the copy of Cerberil to activate the copy of Monster Incarnation. This special summons itself back. This adds back to your hand. You can then activate the effect of Nozuchi, because during your main phase, you can discard a Fabled Monster and then special summon this card from your hand, and then you follow it out with another Fabled Monster. And then its effect resolves, special summoning out any Fabled Monster from your hand that's level 2, or lower, which then you can special summon out something like Raven to your side of the field, and then use Raven's effect to discard what you have left to resolve other effects. So it comes in super handy, and the Monster Reincarnation can come in crazy handy. We then play three copies of uh, Dark World Dealings. Dark World Dealings is really good in here as well, because Dark World Dealings lets you draw a card, each player draws and then discards a card, so it can help you resolve your effects. It's basically a plus one um, if your effect resolves. If you don't resolve an effect, it's not going to be really a plus one, because you're going to minus one one because you're going to draw a card and then discard a card and then you use this card itself so you use two cards to get one um but if you special summon something to your side of the field you're getting card advantage so it's not it's kind of like a it evens itself out kind of card then we play three copies of desynchro desynchro is ridiculous in this deck okay so if you use something like a copy of something simple like a copy of chawa to synchro summon with a copy of uh Lurel, um, you can just instantly use these two together to Synchro Summon for a Formula Synchron and draw a card, and then you can use D Synchro to summon back to your side of the field your copy of Formula Synchron, or shuffle it back into the deck, and then Special Summon those cards back to your side of the field. And if you have something on your side of the field, like a copy of Hyper Librarian, which usually you're going to have Hyper Librarian on your side of the field, you can instantly draw basically two cards off that one and you get a plus four because you're synchro summoning and drawing four cards instead of one or two off the copy of desynchro then you also play the reagan or ragin um which is really cool because you can uh, draw until you have two cards in your hand, which is really cool as well because if you draw into this, you just desynchro it and then summon it again and then draw two more cards. So this card's really good in the deck to be able to combo with cards in the deck. We then play three copies of Call by the Grave because Call by the Grave is ridiculously good to stopping hand traps and you've got to stop hand traps in this deck because you have so many different combos. So that's it for the monster, or that's it for the spells, guys. Let's get into the extra deck because we don't play any traps in this deck at all. So for the extra deck, we're playing three copies of Fabled uh, Reagan. Uh, what this card does is, when this card is summoned, you get to draw until you have two in your hand, if you have one or less cards in your hand, which is pretty good to be able to draw two, essentially, when you synchro summon this card, and it's really good when you have cards like Hyper Librarian on your side of the field, and you summon this card to get you more extension to go into more synchro plays, which is amazing in this deck. We then play one copy of Fabled Unicorn. Fabled Unicorn is a little bit situational because when your opponent has the same number of cards in their hand, you negate the spells and traps and monster effects activated by your opponent and destroy those spells and traps and monsters. That is ridiculously good if your opponent and you match the same amount of cards. So you usually, you can usually match your opponent's spell, monster card or their cards in hand because this card has really good hand control. Um, but sometimes you have that rare moment that you can't and this card is dead but you can use it as a synchro material to summon out something else so that's why i still play it it's a one of one copy of the other level four um uh fabled monster that's a synchro if you have zero cards in your hand you destroy um this card cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects and if you have three or more cards destroy this card during end phase 
kind of good, but it's just a good one of in my opinion. I still like it as one of. Cosmic Blazar Dragon is really, really, really easy to go into in this deck because you just use two level fives and a formula synchron to go in this, and it's pretty much says nope to anything. So it's pretty much the boss monster. Trishula is really easy to go into in this deck too. It looks like it's going to be hard, but it's really not because you can use something as simple as like a Grimro, a copy of Ganesh, which is already getting you to seven, and then a copy of like raven or you can increase raven's attack or level up to like five or not five but you have to use uh the level two raven or you can if you have something else that's not the raven like a copy of a level one monster you can always increase the raven's level up to get it to where you need to go to summon out your trishula so trishula is really easy to summon and it can really hurt your opponent a lot because it can banish something from the field hand and uh graveyard so it's really really helpful to go into trishula Cyframe Lord Omega because it's a good card to rip another card out of your opponent's hand. Charge Warrior because it lets you draw a card, so that's super helpful to draw an extra card. Uh, Teach you Hyper Librarian because it's one of the best Synchro Monsters for Synchro Spam deck, so this card's really good. Two Formula Synchrons, I'm still in love with playing two Formula Synchrons because it's really good just to draw that extra card, and you can loop it with Desynchro over and over and over again to be able to summon this card multiple times per turn and draw those extra cards multiple times. If you have Hyper Librarian, you draw two every time you Synchro Summon this card. So again, if you have Hyper Librarian on your side of the field and you Synchro Summon to Formula Synchron, you draw two, you drop Desynchro, you Synchro Summon right back into Formula Synchron, you draw two more. And it's really funny because then you draw four off of one card, which is funny. With then Boral Sword because it helps you OTK, and we have so many different monster names in the deck, and it's so easy to put monsters on the field. I do play Soryuja now. I dropped Link Rebo for the Soryuja from the previous deck profile, but Soryuja is really good because it lets you draw in, uh, four and then put three back, so it can kind of help you draw exactly what you need, and Special Summon a Monster from him, which can help you extend your plays as well. And getting a 300 extra boost is really, really nice. And then a single copy of Crystron Needle Fiber. Needle Fiber is really good too because it lets you get any tuner you want out of your deck and you can also if you end on a board with like two level fives like two of these or a hyper librarian in one of these you can just tag it out and then summon your copy of formula and then synchro summon into cosmic blazar during your opponent's turn which is really fun to do so that's it for the deck guys i hope you did enjoy it it's a really 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 fun deck to play around with if you like synchro decks if you like junk doppel you'll love this deck because it basically does what junk doppel does but it, it with better artwork to be perfectly honest i love junk doppel but this card this deck has ridiculously good artwork and i love the artwork that this deck has so anyways guys this is dark arm duels don't forget to like comment subscribe definitely tell me what you think of this deck down in the comments down below and i'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys. Don't forget to check out the Patreon. See you later.